Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to today's edition of The Fishing Teacher and thanks for tuning into the video today. Really appreciate that. And guys, today we're gonna give tips and advice on how to rig a big Texas rig worm, like a big 10 or 12 inch plastic worm. I've actually had several requests to do this, so we're gonna give you guys some, some good advice on it because now this time of year, July and August, are probably two of the best months to fish a big Texas rig. So that's the point of today's video. I'm also, guys, a quick reminder that SolarBat extended their Independence Day sale on my SolarBat RB2 and RB3 series sunglasses. If you buy a pair by the end of July, you can get them at 30% off and you can get a second pair at 60% off. So I'll put the SolarBat link in the description of the video along with my Fishimum Lake Map break Breakdown link. So appreciate you guys checking that out. <clears throat> okay, guys, this is the time of year. This is heat of the summer is the best time of year to fish a big worm. And first of all, before I get into how to rig it up a little bit, because there is a specific way to rig it, I want to talk a little bit about the type of areas that a big Texas rig works good in. Now, when I'm talking about a big Texas rig, this is the Zoom Old Monster Magnum, guys. This is my favorite big summertime worm. I'll put the Tackle Warehouse link in the description if you guys want to get a few of these. This is a freaking awesome worm. It's a lot of you guys are familiar with the Zoom Old Monster Worm, which has been around forever. It's like a 10 inch long worm. This is quite a bit fatter and it's about two inches longer. And guys, I've caught some hogs on this thing in the summertime, along with two pounders. Two pounders really hit this thing. But there's two different areas that I like to fish this in, or actually three, depending upon how your lake's set up. Number one is fishing off main lake and secondary points. If you guys, um, in the summertime of the year, bass get on those deeper points, I like to fish them anywhere between I would say, you know, eight to 20 foot deep. If there's any break or drop along those areas, they can be really good with the big worm. Second type of areas I like to fish them on is casting them over submerged grass. Like if you've got a lake that has submerged hydrilla or milfoil, it's really good in the summertime of the year. But overall, probably my absolute favorite time is fishing it, or, or uh, situation is to fish them around boat docks. Now, a lot of people don't fish these big worms around boat docks but this is a really good bait around boat docks because it's versatile. If there's any brush around the docks, you can pitch it and flip it around the brush. You can throw it back in the shady areas. And I like to swim it next to docks. If you got, you know, water visibility that's like less than two foot, you can take a big worm like this and just swim it underneath the floats and catch a lot of fish in the summer doing that. So that's a little uh, tidbit there before we get into the rigging, which is actually the point of the video. <coughs> so first of all, guys, the uh, setup here is pretty critical. Most of the time, I'm using anywhere between, say, 15 to 20 pound test Seaguar and Vizix line. Um, my sinker totally, my sinker size depends upon, you know, how deep I'm fishing in the wind. I use anywhere between like a quarter ounce to maybe a half ounce. If I'm fishing deep with wind, I'll go to a half ounce. But if I'm pitching it around docks or something, I like this quarter ounce here. And the hook is really important, guys. Do not use a EWG or an offset hook. You want to use a straight shank hook. This is the Gamagatsu uh, G Finesse hybrid worm hook that I use. It's a straight shank hook and you want to go small. The biggest, probably the biggest mistake I see guys making with the Texas rig uh, on a big worm is they go to a big giant Mongo hook like a 5 aught. You don't need that guys. I have experimented with every hook size you can imagine and this 3 aught Gamagatsu G Finesse, I'll also link this in my Tackle Warehouse description too, it hooks them better than anything. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with the diameter of the hook sometimes. You miss them or it's harder to penetrate it, but the smaller hook will give you better hook penetration as long as you hook it correctly, which is critical. We're going to go now. So the first thing I want to show you here, guys, is on every worm, most every single worm, you've got one side that's a little bit flat. And I see here on the zoom here, you, this side right here is a little bit flatter and then you have ridges around it. You wanna come in with your hook where it comes out the flat side. So come out, come in about an eighth of an inch or so and make sure you come out the flat side. And then this is what you do not wanna do. You don't wanna take this hook and just put it right back in the center of the worm like that. If you do that, if you put that hook in the center of the worm, you're never gonna hook any fish. This acts like a weed guard. It's, it's thick plastic, so you can't penetrate this hook even on a, on a hard hook set. So what you wanna do, and we've talked about this but some, some in the past, is you just wanna skin hook it in the side. See how I got that? I just barely, barely skin hooked it. Now this is gonna be super weedless. You know, it's gonna be, it's gonna allow you to get in super, super cover. But what happens is when that fish bites it, 
this just tears away from the side of the worm like that. And then you got the, the complete hook point, you know, ready to be penetrated. You don't have any plastic to penetrate. You got nothing but hook that will get in the roof of the fish's mouth. So that's the setup here. Let me rig it back up and I'll show you what it looks like I'm setting up. Another thing with it, guys, is try to get it straight. You know, make sure that when you're rigging it, you try to get that worm as straight as you can. And this is the way the setup looks right here when I've got it. You can see it just barely skin hooked in the side, just like, just like that. But this is how I rig them, guys. Big Texas rig worm, summertime of the year. Um, great lure to catch big ones on, man. It's just like, if you gave me um, two lures to catch fish in the summertime of the year as far as diversity of techniques, that big worm and the football head jig is going to be two of my top. But now's the time of year to do it. July and August are the top two months. Again, I'll link everything you need to get set up on this on my Tackle Warehouse link in the description of the video. So hope it helps you guys catch some. We'll see you all later.